You know, with global warming and so many detrimental environmental impacts, the Northeast San Fernando Valley has continued to see the, the increase in climate. And uh, what we've made it a priority here in my district is to make sure that we're aligning many of these environmental improvements along the corridors where most of our youth are. Uh, particularly around our schools and our recreation centers. And so here we are today uh, adjacent to Silmar High School as well as to Silmar Recreation Center where we are again prioritizing the introduction of more environmental mitigating factors like the installation of more tree plantings in these areas as well as what we are going to commence today, our cool pavement preservation program. Cool pavement is a way to make sure that we're just changing the color of the blacktop and applying this coating. We are going to dramatically reduce the heat that is attracted into this area. And so I'm proud that we're continuing to do that again with our partners over at our Bureau of Street Services. You know, as a former Public Works Commissioner, nothing gives me more pride than to be uh, here with uh, members of our public works crews that do such an outstanding job each and every day to evolve how we've done this work here in the city of Los Angeles. And so it gives me great pride to have uh, with us today our general manager of our Bureau of Street Services, Keith Mose. Thank you, council member. Um, thank you, uh, councilwoman, for your continued leadership in this and other efforts in partnering and supporting Streets LA. Here we are in you know the end of October and it's over 80 degrees and it's just nine o'clock. So we're looking at holistic approaches to basically to combat the urban heat island urban heat island effect with cool pavements. We also planted 17 trees. We look at shade and you know heat as an equity issue as basically low to moderate income neighborhoods have always been you know suffering from lack of canopy, lack of shade. And so we like to bring in new technologies, holistic technologies that basically help combat this and other issues. Streets LA, we do believe in you know leading not only the nation in construction, but also sustainability and workforce development. And we you know truly, uh, truly believe in looking at the infrastructure as one infrastructure to where when we come into neighborhoods like this, communities like this, we want to bring our full force as far as of everything that we can do as far as you know not only repairing street but planting trees trees, fixing sidewalks, and now as we leave, one of the last things that we will do is basically put a cool pavement down. As this technology, you know, uh, continues to develop, we will develop with this technology so we can do more cool pavement projects and do more of this throughout the entire city, you know, in different areas to basically, like I say, combat Heat Island. I'd like to thank our Chief Sustainability Officer, our Assistant Director, Greg Spots, Urban Forestry Division Manager, David Miranda, our Street Management Division Manager, Craig Shaw, and all the men and women of Streets LA who make this happen. So with that being said, um, thank you, Councilwoman. Could you explain what it is that you're talking about? As far as the cool pavement? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll defer more to Greg Spots, but basically cool pavement is just a pavement uh, coating technology that when placed on city streets, it will reduce the heat island effect, the albedo effect, by at least 10 degrees as far as it will not absorb and will reflect that, you know, the sun's rays away to reduce, you know, the heat island effect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Keith. And again, as uh, Keith mentioned, yes, it does reduce the heat by 10 degrees. And here in the San Fernando Valley, it's 10 degrees makes a world of difference. And uh, for those of us that have lived here uh, throughout the course of our, our life, we know how we've continued to see the increase uh, in the heat every year. And so we are looking to mitigate those effects here in our neighborhoods. And I'm proud that uh, in this second phase, we will have 11 miles of cool pavement technology going in, in here in the seventh district. In addition to nearly 200 trees that we're gonna be planting in addition to these 17, because we have to continue to plant and grow our urban canopy so that we can reduce the effects of the growing heat and the shifts of climate change. So uh, with that, I wanna introduce and invite our uh, local principal, actually, no, excuse me. I wanna invite our chief sustainability officer for our Bureau of Street Services, and that is none other than Mr. Greg Spots. Thank you, Councilwoman. We've been working together on greening the city for a long time. It's great to be back here with you in Silmar, and thank you, Keith, for your leadership of our Bureau. You know, urban heat is a public health issue in California. 
The LA Times recently published a study saying we've had almost 4,000 heat-related deaths in the last decade. And that's due to dramatically increase. Here in Silmar, the number of days per year that are 95 degrees or hotter is going to double in the next 20 to 30 years. And if we want to reduce the increase of heat-related emergency room visits and heat-related deaths, we have to start changing our public works infrastructure to reduce urban heat. The great news about uh, cool pavement coatings is that a standard uh, black asphalt street like this absorbs 80 to 90 percent of the sun's energy. But just by putting a thin gray coating on it, now it only absorbs like 65 to 60 percent of the sun's energy. We've actually partnered with NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory to photograph our cool pavement projects from the International Space Station. There's a thermal camera on the International Space Station, and we can see that our projects cool the neighborhood, especially when we combine the emerging solution of cool pavement coatings with the tried and true solution of shade tree planting. And we're very proud that we cut new tree wells all along the next block down there along the high school. Um, that's something that very rarely happens with city-funded projects. Usually you need an outside grant to cut new tree wells on the concrete sidewalk. One other thing is, you know, LA is one of the few places in America that has heat-related illnesses and deaths even in the winter. We have um, warm spells in the winter where people are unprepared and especially in underserved communities people may not have air conditioning, they may not be able to afford to run the air conditioning, so this is really a very important uh, public health and quality of life issue and we're very excited as an agency at Streets LA to be leading uh, the state and even the nation on this topic. Thank you. Greg Spots, G-R-E-G-S-P-O-T-T-S, -T -T Chief Sustainability Officer for Streets LA. And how much did it lower the temperature? So the surface temperature of a cool pavement coated street is about 10 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the surface temperature of nearby adjacent black asphalt in summer afternoons. And we believe it has an overall neighborhood cooling effect of several degrees on average. Thank you, Greg. And now uh, it is my pleasure. Again, it's it's incredible that we have great partnerships and it's most important that we're here uh, adjacent both to one of our local premier high schools as well as our recreation center where families come together in the summer times and so many youth have to traverse on these very hot streets normally. It, it, it's a year-round concept, the heat in the San Fernando Valley. And so with that, I'd like to invite our principal for Silmar uh, Charter High School, Principal Wright. Thank you, Councilwoman Rodriguez, and thank you to the uh, city planners and decision makers who decided to identify this uh, area near our Somar Park and Somar Charter High School as an area of need. I was very pleased to, to be engaged in this partnership today and was invited to bring some of our students to see this connection of uh, merging of disciplines of science, technology, and civic engagement. And we have behind me some of our future leaders, uh, a representative class uh, of our students who are interested in many of these fields of science, technology, healthcare, and civic engagement. I'm going to just take a moment to introduce who they are. Uh, right over on this side, I have Jessica Ogbania. I have Luz Arias. Right behind me, I have Jason Marmel and Daniela Serrano and Charlene Ramos. And it's just very exciting to bring our future leaders out to engage and see what are the opportunities in education and civic engagement and the technical fields and what it can do for a community. So thank you very much for inviting us. Rodney Wright, principal at Somar Charter High School. Thank you so much. And thank you all for joining us this morning. And uh, before it gets any hotter, uh, the goal is to actually apply this coating before it's too hot to apply. So uh, I've come dressed to join our, our street services crews to start beginning the application of the cool pavement uh, here uh, in this strip in Silmar. And uh, again, we thank you all for coming out and uh, see how it's done. <laughs>